Mammalian infants are born immature and require extensive maternal care to grow up. Mothers give milk, groom the infants, and protect them from danger. Mothers often carry their infants as well. As seen with this lion cub, they carry the young and known to adopt a compact posture with their hind legs drawn up. Carrying a baby for humans is a common soothing measure. Surprisingly, however, the calming effect of baby carrying has not been proven scientifically. In our study, we examined infant responses to maternal carrying in 12 babies less than six months of age. During the experiment, the heartbeats of the baby were recorded using an electrocardiogram. The mother were then asked to alternate holding the baby while sitting on a chair and carrying the baby while walking for about 30 seconds each. The graph showed the heart rate of the baby during the task. The lower the heart rate, the more relaxed the baby. When the mother is sitting, the baby tends to be crying and actively moving. As soon as the mother stands up and walks, the heart rate decreases sharply. The baby becomes quiet and relaxed. When the mother sits again, the heart rate goes up and the baby starts crying and kicking. Our data suggests that babies are more relaxed during carrying than holding, both behaviorally and physiologically. Next, we asked if most pups show similar calming responses to maternal carrying as human babies. By the second postnatal weeks, most pups are blind and depend on maternal carrying for transport. We found that pups calm down when they are picked up by the mother or by our fingers, mimicking maternal oral carrying. Moreover, like human babies, most pups cry in ultrasounds. This cry stops when they are carried. This means that most pups showed very similar calming responses during carrying. To those of human babies, even though maternal carrying methods are quite different. But why do mammalian infants get calm by maternal carrying? To see what happens if the pup does not calm down, we inhibited the calming response of most pups by chemically blocking sensory inputs. So the pup cannot feel or recognize that they are physically carried and struggle. Then we put pups in a cup and get their mother to carry them out. We found that the time required for maternal rescue of the sensory deprived pups was significantly longer than that of the normal pups. This means the calming response does function to help the mother and facilitate the maternal carrying. Such cooperation of infant and mother during carrying should be important in the wild such as emergent escape of the mother-infant diet from a predator, which would be ultimately beneficial for infant survival. This study shows that baby carrying is a good soothing measure for a cry caused by mild irritations like a vaccination or frightening noise. On the other hand, the robust calming effect was limited to the actual period of maternal carrying so the baby may resume crying when he is put back in a bed. But now we know that this is a normal response. Such scientific understanding could provide evidence for improving childcare and help parents to better predict the infant behavior and thus reducing frustration of parenthood. This study also shows that the parent-infant relationship is made up of a mutual cooperation by parents and infants. Understanding the neural mechanism of such cooperation may shed a new light 
on the nature of social bonding and attachment conserved across mammals. <laughs>